Today, we make custom social media lower thirds, kind of like that. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today, we're creating another template for me to provide to you guys, and this week's template is something that you can put into your stream or into your YouTube channel, more geared towards YouTubers, I would say, than streamers, but you can use it for your stream if you want, and that is custom social media lower thirds, as you can see them popping up down there. These are the ones that you can create inside of this awesome After Effects template that I'll be giving to you guys. So without further ado, let's hop into After Effects, see all the social medias, and how to quickly change them and export them so you guys can can have your own links in the uh, template so here we go all right guys so when you open up the template this is what it's going to look like you got a bunch of compositions here you got final render discord text instagram text mixer text twitch text twitter text and youtube text these are the six social medias that i've chosen to create lower thirds for and you guys can create your own if you can think of any more but these are the ones that i provided for you guys because it's the ones that i think most people would use and if there are some very obvious social medias that you guys thought of that are not included here please let me know down in the description and i can add to this template and make a few more if you want them to match the style of these ones but i'm trying to think maybe patreon down the line or something but these are the basic ones that i think everyone would want to have in their social media lower thirds when they pop up but i'm going to show you guys how to quickly change them so final render tab here you can see all of them here this is where you're going to do your rendering once you have everything changed but all the text ones discord text instagram text mixer text twitch text twitter and youtube this is where you're changing the text of your um your social media lower third. So if we start with Discord here and you scrub forward, you can see we've got Discord and we've got the link down here. So you see we've got link and Discord. And I've included where you can change the Discord as well if you wanted to change the font. This font is just a very basic font. If you'd like to change them, you can easily change it. Just manipulate it like a normal text layer. But here, if your Discord is um, um, Fortnite, king there you go and now you've got your discord in there and then if we go over to instagram and uh your instagram is um cool guy 32 there's your instagram and then you go to the mixer one go ahead and scrub forward a little bit uh mixer.com forward slash uh say your mixer is uh i don't know like ninja or something weird like that you know um, and then your Twitch one, uh, let's say your Twitch is, you know, let's say your Twitch is Bravidium. Go follow me, twitch.tv forward slash Bravidium. Bravidium. <laughs> so Twitter, also Bravidium. Go follow me, twitter.com forward slash Bravidium. We'll leave that one. And then YouTube, obviously we're leaving that one. YouTube.com forward slash Bravidium. Let's just leave that there on screen for a long time so you guys can go see that and subscribe. <laughs> but here we go. If we go back to the final render now, you see you've got all these eyeballs over here to turn on and turn off. Um, make sure only one is on at a time. And whichever one you have on is the one you're going to export. And you see we've got the in and out points set for you here. So you don't have to move those around at all. Oops. There we go. So if we select Discord and we hit play or if we scrub through, you'll see we've now got it updated. Discord.gg forward slash Fortnite King and it's loading in. But you'll see it'll loop once it gets to the end there. We've got the in, in animation and the out animation. So there you go. You can easily export that. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But once you have it exported, you just turn off the Discord one, switch over to the Instagram one, and then you'll see it updates. And it's now the Instagram cool guy 32 and you can export that one. And then you turn off that one, turn on Mixer. You've got mixer.com forward slash ninja. Turn off this one. That one, you got Twitch Bravity. Go to here, you got Twitter Bravity. And go to here, you got YouTube Bravity. So as you see, you just go down the line and you turn on one at a time. You don't wanna turn on multiple because as you see the drop shadow here, if you see that there's a shadow below it, if you turn them on, you'll see the drop shadow slowly gets more and more apparent. You see now it's super dark around it, and that's why you don't want to turn them on because it's layering them all up. So make sure you only have one selected, just one at a time, and export them as you change the text. But let's say you wanted to export youtube.com forward slash gravitym as your lower third here. So we've already got the in and out points set for you, so you shouldn't have to touch that. All you have to do is just make sure your comp selected, go up here to composition, and hit add to render queue. So once you add it to the render queue, it'll pop up here, final render, and you just wanna click where it says lossless and change this. You don't have to change this. AVI is a higher quality format than QuickTime, but it's so large of a file that I prefer to work in QuickTimes because you can't really tell a quality difference. So you can leave it on AVI if you want, but change it to QuickTime if you want a smaller file. And then where it says RGB, change it to RGB plus alpha. That is a huge step when you're working with lower thirds, especially because you don't want a black background. You need to have it pop up over your footage. You need to have nothing behind it. And that's how you get that transparent background is by having RGB plus alpha selected. So go ahead and hit okay. And then where it says final render output to final render, 
um, you just want to make sure you click on that where it's blue and then change the name of it and save it wherever you want and then you just hit render and you are done and that is pretty much it guys all right, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the social media lower thirds. Download them, change them to whatever you want, have them pop up on your stream, on your YouTube channel. It adds a lot of production value and helps you get uh, a community on all your different social medias. But please let me know if you guys are downloading it and using it. I love when people tell me you're using my templates. That's why I'm trying to grind through and provide as many templates as possible. I have people reach out to me on Twitter, in the comments. They even come into my stream and say, hey man, your templates and your stinger transitions are awesome. I use them on my stream. And that means a ton to me that it it continues to drive me to want to create more templates when so many people come in and tell me that you're using them and if you want to come in and tell me on twitch that you use my templates make sure you follow me on twitch.tv forward slash gravity m i try to stream every tuesday and uh, saturday um, and if you were in this saturday stream you'll see that i actually animated and designed these uh, lower thirds live on stream so if you guys would like to see how i work in after effects and not just see the template part if you want to see me actually creating the stuff that I provide in your templates, make sure you follow me over on Twitch and uh, get those go live notifications when I say I'm working in After Effects and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoy the template and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.